wrong this time. I never know. Hey guys, what's going on guys, it's Jayok here, welcome back to another video. I have a brief update for Marvel's Avengers, and I kind of want to establish a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a relevancy on my channel, um, because I've been doing more kind of like on and off streams on Twitch, and on YouTube I haven't been really doing anything, frankly because there's, I've been really busy honestly, um, with just super, uh, with just seeing what's going on with the world, and you know, just a bunch of stuff. Um, but aside from that, I just wanted to make a quick update on Marvel's Avengers because Marvel's Avengers is something that I can sit down and have fun with versus something like Rainbow Six Siege where I kind of play a lot on my off time and would only and only really do a video if there's something I feel obligated to do uh, or not obligated but like I feel good like good enough to do. Uh, like for instance, they released a Rick and Morty bundle which I didn't feel like getting at the time because of how it was, but um. That's something that happened. Aside from that, I wanted to go through a little bit of a update spree as to kind of like what I've been up to, what's happening, and kind of some weird things that have been happening in my game. Um, specifically with two heroes, Black Pan uh, not Black Panther, uh, Black Widow and Hawkeye. Now, both of those heroes I'll actually show you guys in a minute, but um, first without further ado, if you guys like my channel or you guys uh, decide after this video, um, or you like my content, please like and subscribe. Help helps help me immensely knowing that these videos do anything. Um, aside from that, go and check out my Twitch if you are on YouTube. It should be in the About Me page. Or if you're on Twitch and you want to see more, uh, see more long-lasting content, go on to my um, YouTube, which is Jdog uh, six seven zero four plays, um, where I store all my streams and videos. So without further ado, um, I uh, let's hop into it. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna upload, but um, before I did a small video about um, the new update with Nick Fury. Now Nick Fury is actually behind uh, behind me. He's actually up there in the you, besides all the logos. He's actually all the way up here in the command deck now. And with the newest update that they added, they uh, they kind of broke the economy in a way. A um, so, first off, they changed how missions work. So now, Nick Fury has a new objective, which I kind of started, back in action, which has you go to each region and complete a set of things. Because I believe it starts you out on Eastern Seaboard, then it goes to Pacific Northwest, then I'm on Utah Badlands. So they have you doing that. And... Aside from that, they also changed how missions work. Now, how missions work now is that every mission now is available to you. So, essentially, like, let's say you need to get a challenge done for, like, Monica Rappuccini. You can do her mission in the Tundra, like, whenever you want. Like, let's go up to Snowy Tundra. See, you can do all the villain sectors available in there. You can do Being the Oz if you want. You can do... Well, there's, a, there's of course, a refresh on it. There's... A blast from the past. There's gathering evil. There's walk, uh, walking the dead, and there's hives and stuff like this, like all over the map that you can still get. Like turbulence, you can replay this over and over if you want. Let's say you really like playing uh, Tatama Titan or or Menace at Large. You can play these missions over and over again if that's what you really want to do. Uh, aside from that, vaults now kind of do not go away. So you can replay vaults over and over and over and over again if you so choose. However, for me, I don't want... I kind of... I'll actually say it in, I'll actually explain it in a while, but I've kind of stopped doing vault missions for one reason, one reason only. Uh, but, like, for Above and Beyond, you can still do it. In addition to that, like, even going to, like, some something like, like the Utah Badlands... There are still a lot of the stuff still here, like um, like our town. Now that now you can get so much stuff from our town at such a consistent basis. Because back then, before this update, 
you had to hope you had to hope and pray if, if you're not someone who plays this game you had to hope and pray you got the right you you got like the threat sectors that you wanted because you would only get drop zones and maybe like one or two villain sectors from the from the uh daily daily collections and speaking of that you actually get you actually get two types of missions from the daily uh challenges thing up here the fraction missions so now ideally you get two you get two objectives, a villain sector and a vault, which is very huge, as well as the game act as well as you actually get bonus credits or units on, on top of that. You also get your daily assignments, which are very helpful if you're someone who just like plops them and like is trying to get more heroes with more ar artifacts maxed out because like, like for God's sakes, it, they are powerful. Like, look, I can upgrade, I can upgrade like, look, I have 700. Ideally speaking, that is a, a crap ton. I could probably level up a new hero's artifact to that level. But aside from that, um, yeah, very strong update um, for kind of just, like, playing. Kind of makes me wonder a little bit as to why they did that. M maybe more for, like, a appeal. But another thing that, that, uh, another thing that they did was they actually... They actually kind of like broke the economy a little bit for units. Now, there's a difference between units and credits, uh, if anyone's wondering. So up here on the top right, there are credits and there are units. Now, units, the green currency here, is of course used in game. Um, primarily, you would use use this for like you know cosmetic vendors, like costumes, nameplates, stuff like that. However, one thing that they implemented was shipments. Now, of course, I recently got the shipment suit. Because of this, this I guess economy break, and you know you can get twenty um, if you spend twenty five, uh, twenty five, well two hundred and fifty units on a crate, and then you get you know a, at least a nameplate, and it's kind of like random, and it refreshes every day. So, um, but aside from that, they they really did break the economy to the point of where yeah I have tw I have twenty five thousand units. Let me stress that, 25,000. <laughs> like, that is a crap ton. I could probably be, I could probably complete the next shipment in that amount of time. <laughs> but, um, aside from that, um, yeah. Uh, credits are also pretty important. There are the premium currency. So, so, like, you get, you would get these from the hero cards that you unlock, or the original six. So, ideally, you get $60 if, you kind of get the sixty dollars back if you if you buy the game, or if you get during a sale. How many you subtract? You know how many how many plus, or like how many uh, how much you spent on it minus the you know six Avengers that have about a thousand credits each in them that is free. So you get about six you get about sixty dollars back in a sense. Uh, for me, it's kind of a a good trade off. But um, aside from that. Yeah, so they really did break the economy here. I was actually talking to Mega, uh, not calling him by his, by his official name because I do not care. Um, I frankly do not care enough to say it. Um, but aside from that, um, yeah, I I kind of had to show him like with uh, DNA boxes was that you can get a crap ton from D DNA uh, boxes, and it and it's actually kind of it's kind of a little like a a kind of not really a secret, but it's kind of one of those things where it's like, oh, that's something that you can do. Um, <laughs> but aside from that, um, there isn't really much to units. Uh, for units, you pretty much just get them from crates. I, I found, again, like, I think that's been always the thing. You get them through crates, but now you actually get them from objectives, which I'm very happy about. See, Forest Vault, you get, you get units. However, it doesn't tell you how many how many you get, you roughly get about 500 from each. So pretty much a good deal. Uh, you can even get from like, like this claw raid mission, uh, mission chain, uh, and you can even get them from specific uh, challenges, which are not right here. Because I think I, I think I got all of them, but um, aside from that, that's about it. They broke the economy for units. I'm very happy because I'm gonna stock up because God knows if this game's going to continue. They're going to patch a ton of stuff. Uh, speaking of which, we still don't have a roadmap for this game. 
for 2020. Or for 2022, my bad. Which kind of sucks. Because that kind of is like, is the game going to be ending support? What's happening? Uh, and my personal belief as at, at this time, as well as it's like, me kind of wondering if there's something behind the scenes with, like, with them, with getting, like, a hero put out. Because, of course, um, recently we have, recently they added Spider-Man to the game, and they've been uh, pushing some, some skins out for him. I, of course, I can't show you guys it, because it's on PS4. I'm on Xbox. Um, aside from that, though, uh, the skins that they have released have been the Homecoming skin, these are MCU skins, of course. The Homecoming MCU skin, the Far From Home MCU skin, uh, the Night Monkey, if you will, uh, no, uh, Spider Monkey, or, or whatever suit from Far From Home, his uh, Shield Given suit, um, his No Way Home, I think, suit, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, and Iron Spire suit. Um, but aside from that, that's about it that I've heard. The 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 latest uh, skin that actually came out though, actually came out not re uh not that long ago. But I'm gonna tell you about I'm gonna tell you guys about that in a while. Uh, but aside from that, I just want to kind of clarify, White Heroes I got maxed out. Now, it's actually now you guys probably could tell by the nameplate that I just showed. But like, um, I've been busy. <laughs> um, to put to put it very clearly. Um, so let's go over here. So, um, as, well, to recap, I have Cap at, you know, level 50, 27 champion level, which I'm actually kind of proud of. Uh, I have Widow, max level, max hero card. Thor with max level uh, hero card. Kamala's done, Thor is done, and I just have to finish out Iron Man's hero card. Now, as for the remaining three... Heroes below down here, the DLC, if you will. I have all the hero cards um, unlocked, but the person that I was focusing on for a hell of a while, ever since I got done with Iron Man with his levels, have been has been Black Panther. Now, surprisingly, I actually looked up a lot about Black Panther and his intrinsic, and I didn't know how his intrinsic necessarily worked uh, until I fully researched it and whatnot. Um, and it's actually kind of interesting of how it works because his intrinsic is very much, very unique in the instance that, like, it charges from you benefiting from the enemies. Um, and, yeah, like, j just to, like, just to highlight, so intrinsic here, which is the panther's cowl, and it actually, when you hold down his intrinsic, it actually blocks every single attack. That's yeah. Uh, that's blue or a light attack, which is actually kind of an interesting because that just means that there's more of a use for protosynthoids than just you know for for panther at least. Or like I actually looked up a ton of stuff actually, and a lot of people were recommending using laser bots, which actually proved to be really useful. Um. <laughs> I actually abused that a lot, um, getting his challenges done. I'm actually at 30% with his challenge card, uh, just because I actually completed all of his, actually. My bad. Uh, also, six minutes until refreshing. I'm cutting it really close. But, um, I actually really got done with a lot of his things just from using laser bots. And it's to the point of where I'm level 30, uh, 38 with him, and I'm at 150 already, uh, which is really funny. I'm actually holding some gear... That actually has, you know, like, the right status. Because, I don't know. I, I feel like it's important for me to at least to have something like that in here for Panther. Um, with how with how huge you can get, you know, kicked into the gutter. Or, well, not kicked into the gutter, but, you know, more or less, like, how often you can get thrown around like a ragdoll. Um, but aside from that, like, I've been focusing on, you know, increasing his, his melee... Uh, having a bit of defense, having like a, having a steady thing with defense and heroics and stuff. Or with Black Panther, you don't really need it. You just need to do damage and stuff like that. I found. Um, aside from that, I don't. I have you know the King uh, Chichala skin done over with. Um, of course, I do have his MCU skin. Um, 
that I personally like a lot. Don't really like this Black Panther one that much. I much prefer the Civil War one. Uh, aside from that, I have King, King T'Challa, the, Icon uh, the Iconic, and or and that and uh, how do you pronounce this? Uh, I also have this one that just came from the hero card because reasons. Uh, but aside from that, really kind of you know trucking through Panthers uh, levels right here, and you know it's all in good time. Aside from that, though, um, there has been... Uh, I have been working a little bit on Hawkeye, but not too much. Uh, again, kind of like one of those things where heroes can be in a dry rut, unless you know how to play them. But aside from that, I kind of want to sh highlight two glitches that I found out. Now, one of them involves Widow, if I can find where she is. She has to be somewhere down this way, most likely. Or not here entirely. Uh, um... As a matter of fact, there's actually one with Hawkeye that I want to actually showcase. And now, of course, I tested this with uh, Megahead, which he told me that he didn't see them, which is very odd. So it has to be like a coding side. I don't know if this is a glitch. This has to be like a client side glitch, but um, whoops, I'm uh, at that wrong button. Uh, okay, so. Widow has a really funny glitch of where her blonde hair for the Infinity War skin that I got, uh, based on Infinity War, actually turns her hair back to red. So the blonde that you guys see right now in the portrait actually gets changed to red. Now, I believe this is a change in the code with the update that they did in some degree, but it's a very weird glitch. So as you guys can see right here, her hair is in fact red, this is the chimera. Please which it shouldn't be. It should be a, it should be the blonde Hello, that friend. is shown in in pretty much all like in pretty much the the uh, the portrait. And it's actually kind of interesting is how the glitch actually affects it. So let's take for instance the iconic tactical, right? So we have this. Uh, we have this. If we move over to something like sunset here. Her hair gets changed. But however, if we move to something like Patrol, where her hair is is white, it doesn't change. I was testing this for a while now. And like Ranger, this skin, since it's since it has orange oh well, not orange, but like red hair. Or not red hair, but like blonde hair, it keeps the same. My bad, it, it looked orange in the portrait. Um, but like, if I go to something like Project uh, Tisnara, her hair changes. If I go to, I think, Kone Mary, it changes. If I go to Infinity War, guess what? It changes. However, the only thing that doesn't change is Saboteur, which remains the same, oddly enough. Now, of course, this only happens with this blonde hair color, so I don't know if this is something that the team is aware of and they're trying to get rid of, um, but I, th I find it really kind of funny of how it just changes instantly, kind of like the code got effed up in some way, shape, or form, and just defaults to that. Like, the game knows, like, the game is holding the, the, the images of the, of the characters having blonde hair and, like, showing the previews, but just says, yeah, no. <laughs> um... I actually kind of like this glitch, to be honest. It's kind of cool, kind of funny, just to have like a red-haired uh, Infinity Ward Widow. Um, but aside from that, I think that's about it for Widow on that aspect. However, there's one more glitch I encountered involving Hawkeye and the new skin, Time Runs Out. Now again, I believe this is a thing on the coding side as well for Marvel's Avengers, which... Here's hoping there's a new up, there's a next update that comes through or a patch, hopefully. I have no clue, but um, it actually involves his skin. So as you guys can see, I have Ronin right now, of course. The 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 best Ronin skin for for Hawkeye. Um, definitely not the Endgame skin, but you know I have the Ronin skin right now, uh, and I actually have a lot of Hawkeye skins that I can use other than. Times it runs out. What can I say? 
I, there was a lot that I really liked. But I just want to stress this. So you see Ronan, nothing wrong with him. Looks completely normal. You go to day off, completely normal. Nothing happens. Completely fine. If I go to modern, completely fine. Completely fine. Nothing happens. If I go to iconic. It's fine. Nothing happens. If I go to Age of Ultron, finally, nothing happens. However, for time runs out, something weird happens. I don't know if you guys can see it exactly, but it's by the hair. Yeah. In case, you don't, in case you guys don't know what this this beam of light here is, that is a part of the skin that is is Anyone continuing to glitch right now. Fancy bows and arrows? Yes. Uh, okay, is there a chimera to field units? What's your status? Okay, well, they were having a little bit of dialogue, but you guys can see right now of how there's a bit of a glitch happening right now with the hair. Now, personally, I have not tried playing with it. No, nor do I really want to try to because I feel like it's going to just not be the same at all And it's not going to make any much of a difference or I might try it eventually just to see how it is um, Hopefully it gets changed fixed in the other patch with the uh, widow skin because I actually spent uh, a sizable amount of crit, uh, units on it uh, So I hope I'm hoping that it gets fixed uh, also, I really like the design of like the silver arrows and uh, the silver bow not silver bow, so sil yeah, silver bow and silver staff. I really like that look, as well as kind of like the goggles ish look. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, um, that is the glitch with Hawkeye, and it actually appears in the opening scene as well with all the heroes. Uh, not surprisingly, so for the for the time remaining, I'm just using Ronan because Ronan's pretty sick, to be honest. Um, and yeah, so. Aside from that, uh, as for heroes, I have actually, you know, got a sizable amount of them. I got, you know, the original six all maxed out pretty much in terms of levels and skills. I have yet, the only one that I have left to do is Iron Man for his hero hero challenges. Um, after that, I'm probably going to focus on these three. Ideally, I'm going to start with Panther, max him out, uh, get his hero card done. Max out Hawkeye, get his hero card done, and then finally get Kate done, uh, because these two I I really like because they're the they're, they're the classic, they're the classic Avengers, if you will. Kamala and Kate are kind of like the outsiders. These are the original. Um, but aside from that, um, we actually have some new skins to actually look at. Um, so I'm gonna just switch. Actually, I'm gonna switch over to Iron Man real fast to do this. Uh, there has since actually been a couple skins that actually have actually came came out uh, That I kind of just want to just talk about all of them really uh, and give my honest opinions about them uh, So they actually changed a bit about the marketplace uh, Now the hero the hero roster how you get to all the rest of the heroes is now as this little square right here instead of an actual uh, Tab here now. It's just the credits um and there has actually been some new skins. So of course, Black Panther has not gotten another MCU skin, which, you know, that makes sense because we don't really have another MCU skin for him to, you know, have in the game. Uh, Miss Marvel still hasn't gotten anything uh, exotic based, keyword exotic. Um, Hulk has not gotten anything else except for, you know, his Endgame one that no one bought because unless, you know, something happens. Um, Aside from that, um, Captain America has gotten at least the first Avenger version. Um, the Avengers cap skin, I have a opinion about. I do not like this. Unless, like, he looks kind of, I don't know. It looks like the, the Captain America right now kind of, like, just put this on just for shits and giggles. Cap Wolf, get this crap out of here. Make it a legendary. Um... First Avenger, definitely would buy, um, actually, because of how much detail they actually put into First Avenger, uh, and how accurate it kind of looks to the film a little bit, like, with the, like, dents on the shield and stuff, I actually kind of really like, um, Infinity War, hell no, they need to fix it in some way, shape, or form, I was actually talking to Meg about this, 
Uh, the shield needs to be a... I feel like the shield needs to be a different color, like the vibra the vibranium shields that, like, the vibranium shield color that they had in Infinity War, um, that Cap used during the invasion. I feel like that, like, colorish material should be on the shield kind of thing. Um, aside from that, it's kind of just bland a little bit. Not really much to it. And then, of course, you know, your, your boy has Endgame. Now, Widow. Widow, of course, has nothing really much except for Age of Ultron, which is just straight up garbage, in my opinion. I don't really like how red the hair is, and, you know, a lot of it kind of just makes me go, eh. Um, Infinity War. I already discussed Infinity War. I, I already discussed Infinity War, which is a, it's, is a glitch in the code and changes the hair color. Um, Endgame, of course, I have already. Um, Black Widow, the movie, the snowsuit, I have already. Uh, as Megan and me were discussing the other day, the hair is, of course, different for, is incorrect for both of these, uh, which I do get, but for me, I don't really care too much about that. I... I did originally when they when they came out, um, but they didn't even get the hair right. Even if even since they have the design of it pretty much in the game already with the hero suit, uh, which I would probably to be honest get um, during a sale if I was going for like a widow sale, like if I was buying something for widow. Uh, Hawkeye, of course, ha the Hawkeye TV show and Endgame suits I'm not getting. Uh, Ronan and Age of Ultron I really like. Uh, Kate's. Get this crap out of here. Like, get, like, honestly, get this Hawkeye skin out of here. This is garbage. Uh, I have very strong feelings about this one. Uh, this, this suit, they tried to... This is essentially a scam, I feel. Uh, for the Avengers fans who like Hawkeye. Um, like, they didn't even change the hair on this, on, on this model. They did as Mega said, the, the, the facial model is the same, which he kind of wishes it was different. Um, but for me, the hair kind of just does it. Uh, Iron Man actually got a new skin, uh, the Infinity War version of his, uh, or the Infinity War suit they wore, uh, which actually looks pretty damn good, to be honest. Um, other than that, he didn't really get much else than the free Iron Man, sin Iron Man skin when it was out. Uh, and then Thor got actually, a, actually got, uh, well, three new ones, really. So he got Ragnarok. So let me just establish this. So Thor got Ragnarok. Thor, uh, Thor got a skin inspired by uh, Thor Ragnarok. Personally, I don't really like this skin too much. It kind of just is kind of meh. I'd only get this during like a sale, and if I was like really wanting to get it. Um, but other than that, not really. They introduced Thor Dark World, which I'm not a fan of because of how kind of like dark and bland it is. It's kind of just like a, it's kind of a weird, it's very weird for a Thor skin. Looks too much like a, a skin that they would have as epic. Uh, Endgame, um, probably would get, to be completely honest with you, if there was a sale and if it was at a good price, because they changed the prices uh, for it to actually be a equal uh, 700. So, um, probably... I'm going to consider getting this, to be honest, just because I have the endgame sets kind of a little bit. Um, they got they recently released Thor's uh, Marvel Studio Thor skin, which me and Mega have had two different opinions about. For me, I kind of see the appeal a little bit, but it's something of where I would have to actually have to play with it to actually see the full value. Don't get me wrong, I think it's a really good skin. But it's one of the things of where I'm not going to pay the full price for it. And I'm going to get Endgame first. I am being honest. Uh, then they released the dog... The dog... Uh, to put it lightly. Dog shit skin that is the Avengers skin. Uh, this does not look like Thor really at all from Avengers. They kind of just... They baby faced him. This does not look like Thor whatsoever. Uh, in fact, they should have just kept the head from Dark World over here. And just put it as this. To be completely honest with you, this just does not look appealing. At least Dark, at least Dark World, would look good with the head. The head on Avengers just looks like dog crap. I might be honest, um, but yeah, that's pretty much about all the MCU, MCU MCU skins that we have already right now. 
for Spider-Man, of course. He got his new new ones. Um, and yeah, so Endgame and Thor, I'll probably get personally. Dark World, Ragnarok. Dark, no, Dark World and Avengers, hell no. Ragnarok, Ragnarok maybe if I'm, if I'm in a good mood. But aside from that, not really. Just these two. Um, but yeah, so far we don't have a um, roadmap for Marvel's Avengers. Uh, my main goal for this game so far is to, of course, finish out all the heroes in this game and actually get uh, all their hero cards and stuff done and actually just have fun with the game. Uh, but aside from that, I really hope that S Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics, they both pick up their slack and actually release a roadmap for 2022 because if they don't, you hear people are just trying to stop playing all together. I've had I've had issues getting even a full lobby, or not even a full lobby. Someone else to play with me on a Marvel's Avengers as a random. Worst thing in the game is that they have they have quick match right. It's a bit of a rant here. Quick match joins a existing strike team that is looking for players. And it's giving XP and resources. In my head, they should have it with the quick match. To not have it be a thing of where if you just select it, you're in queue and you can leave the queue. I feel like if you do quick match, you should not be able to leave until you get... Like, you shouldn't be able to leave and the game should put you in a lobby with other people. And, like, the only way that you would be able to leave is by showing off your console. Because you know what? No one wants to shut down their console. In addition to that, I think that if you leave during a quick match, you should, be, you should get penalized entirely. Because for me, at least, it's a pain to do this. Even with this, like, I guess in this term, semi-dying game. With no new content. But yeah, that's just me. Um... I think it's I think it's safe to say I am all good for the next shipment. Uh, definitely, am I, I definitely am going to continue to play Avengers to be honest. Uh, taking a tiny bit of a break because people who I usually play Siege with are not really playing. Um, but aside from that, I think I am right now pretty good on uh, waiting for the specialty item. I actually got this when there was 23 days remaining. Really funny. <laughs> um, Aside from that, um, that's going to about wrap it up. Um, again, I'm I'm kind of just... My plan right now for Marvel's Avengers is to wrap it up. Kind of have fun with it. Probably not going to stream too much, to be honest. Um, and actually, like, export onto YouTube and stuff like that. But, you know. Um, I'm just having fun, man. But um, aside from that... That's about going. That's gonna be about it. Um, as you can see, I'm you know eighty-two percent done with the with the challenge card. And yeah, that's about gonna wrap it up for this update video. Most likely gonna upload this to YouTube. Probably gonna be my update in long. Probably gonna be my first update in a long time. And yeah, um, that's gonna be about it. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you guys are on Twitch, please follow. I'll see you guys in the next video that I do or stream or whatever. Um, peace out.